to Axie CLI. I'm Paul Herman. I'm here today with Word recording artist Sarah Reeves. Sarah, it's great to have you here at CCLI. Great to be here. Thanks for having me. I uh, wanted to ask first about your YouTube videos. You've gained quite an audience uh, with the, your cover versions of the worship songs. So, so tell us how all that came about. Well, um, I started, I think, in the spring of like 2013. And it started out as just I was kind of bored and I heard a song called Take Me to the King by Tamala Mann and I was like, I'm gonna just like, you know, record this and do my own version and uh, my husband had a, you know, video camera and we just set up in our guest bedroom and we recorded that video and then I uploaded it on YouTube and it just kind of became like this thing that we started doing. I started getting all of these responses and people wanting more songs and more, mm -hmm. you know, cover, my, my own version of cover songs. And so um, from then on, it just kind of became a weekly thing that we did. And I wasn't expecting it to be as, you know, as what it is now, but um, it kind of was like a full-time job for us. We, wow. every week we would put one out. And so we did that for about a year and a half, my husband and I, and so. It was fun. It's great. Yeah. Uh, you mixed in a few original songs, I saw, yeah. and some songs that uh, you co-wrote with other people. So how were those received? Those are, were received really well, yeah. I, I put in, I think, a, a song called Faithful, which um, is a song that has been kind of my anthem throughout the past three years. And um, so I've gotten a lot of response on that. That will be on my album. Um, and. Yeah, I think I did one other original, and then a song called Let It Echo by, that got cut by Jesus Culture. Nice, yeah. Um, and so I did kind of my own version of that, and that was received really well, too. Fantastic. Well, tell us about the new album. I hear that it's going to be a new sound and a new direction, so yeah, can you describe that? Yes, well, so the past few years, like, I've always kind of battled just, like, worship leader and artist mm -hmm. you know like I, I love to lead worship and I feel like God's given me a gift to do that but I also have these like quirky melodies that I, you know when I would go to songwrite I would want to write all of these like artistic melodies and artistic lyrics and I'm like well that will never work in the church you know mm -hmm. because yeah. it's not typical and so I always there was just this inner battle you know and so I would kind of either settle like you know, seven years ago I was an artist and I settled with kind of more of a singer-songwriter thing and then I went down the just straight up worship path, but there was always this conflicting thing inside of me. And so about a year ago I just really felt like God said, you know, hey, I've, I've given you those desires and I've given you these gifts for a reason. and it shouldn't be a battle, like it should be married, like it, that's your thing, that's your sound, that's what I've given you. And so I just have kind of mixed in, you know, kind of artsy lyrics and melody, but it's very much worship. So it's just kind of feel like God is giving a lot of people a new sound in the realm of worship. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I just kind of, I write what comes natural. You know, I don't try to force anything and I don't try to be like anyone else. I'm just writing what comes out of me. And um, that's, it's been my favorite place to be so far. So I'm excited about this album. That's great. Yeah. That's great. I understand that there is a certain kind of gemstone that has a special meaning for you. Yeah. Can you explain that? Yeah, it's the opal, um, which is kind of random. Uh -huh. But um, I was at my, my church's like, just leadership retreat um, January of 2015, and um, just one of my friends kind of spoke a word over me that just said, I feel like God's given me a picture of the opal for you, which is a, it's a water gemstone, mm -hmm. and because it's a, a water stone, it showcases many colors. Mm -hmm. And she just said, I feel like God is going to showcase many different colors, unique colors through you. And, um, and that it is, uh, the water represents the living water, which is the Holy Spirit who's going to give you, he's going to be the source of your strength. And so when we were putting together my logo, my team emailed me and just said, hey, is there any kind of like symbol that is significant to you that we can kind of attach to your name for imaging and branding? Yeah. And, and I just remembered that word. And, um, 
And so I, I texted my friend and I said, hey, did you happen to write that down? And she did, and she sent it right to me. And so it's kind of just become like something that I, that's attached to my name, but also something that I encourage my friends mm -hmm. with as well. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Anything you'd like to share with our CCLI churches or worship leaders or worship teams out there? Any, anything at all? I would just say, you know, just kind of what, what I was saying before, just be yourself, you know, don't try to imitate someone else or, you know, try to be like the next big thing, like just do what comes naturally to you because God has gifted you and He has put you on this earth for such a time as this and He's put um, just a unique gift inside of you, so um, just let Him use you and you're awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, thanks so much, Sarah, yeah. for coming Thank and sharing you. with us. Thanks it's so good to have you. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Take care.